Hi again, Mike with the Clean Vibrator Company. We saw the results up there. Now we're going to take a look at our selection guide to talk a little further about what key points are we looking at when determining which type of vibration to use? What do we look at to determine how many vibrators to put on a bin or hopper or shoot or pipe? Uh, how to install these things? Just some basic tips, general info covers most of the applications. When a vibrator is properly sized and installed, you can ensure consistent material flow, and as we saw, faster material flow. You can prevent the need for manual unsticking methods such as hammers, sticks, shoes, wrenches, whatever you can find. Don't have to get inside the bin. And when it's properly installed, you can be confident that your equipment is not going to experience any damage. How many? How many vibrators do we need to put up on that loadout bin or that ingredient bin? Depends. How big is it? A properly sized and installed unit has about a five foot effective radius. So on a five by five bin, probably be fine with one. But if you have a 30 foot diameter silo, we're gonna wanna put more units on there. They would be smaller vibrators, strategically placed. Let's walk through a quick example. We have a 12 by 12 bin with cornmeal on the inside. 12 by 12, tell us we're going to want to have two on there. One on opposite side. You want to have them at staggered heights just to help with the efficiency of the vibration. 